This is going to be how to seal up your ATV instrument cluster from getting moisture in it as easy and to help prevent any moisture that's in there from making the foggy screen and potentially shorten everything out. My particular machine was an Art Articat and I've already taken the gauge cluster out. This method should work or at least be very similar to a lot of machines. Uh, this is the full digital gauge. They make one that has some analog on it. They make one that's a little bigger Articat for snowmobiles. Polaris uses very similar gauge clusters. You know, they just have their badging in it. This company right here, they basically make these gauge clusters for them. And they're used on quite a bit of machines. What you're going to need to take this thing apart and then seal it up. Some clear silicone. Torx 10 bit. I just got like a knife and then you could use the knife to cut that but I got scissors for that. This is the last thing that you need. Uh, I got this one out of a pill container. It's a desiccant packet. Uh, they have these in things like uh, beef jerky sealed up containers inside shoe boxes and stuff and what these do is they absorb any moisture that's trapped inside. Alright first thing you're starting with flip it upside down. There's four Torx bits. You need a T10. You're gonna loosen them so that way you could take it apart. Now the bezel is gonna be loose. You can take that off and then you'll want to work on taking the plastic covering off. You can see there's already from the factory they put like some hot glue or whatever there but usually it's not sealed up that great that's where this might come in hand you might need to help pry it off a little bit but you just got to slowly work it and get it off mine is already pretty loose so at this point what a lot of people do is they just reseal the edges and, and put the put the cover back on that we just took off thinking oh it's going to keep the moisture out the problem is, is there's still all types of little cracks where moisture will get in and even condensation from extreme temperature changes. You can use your knife or something. This, this piece is just kind of sitting in here, pressed in a little bit. Work that out. And if you have to, you can flip it over and gently push on the pins and it'll start to slide everything out. Careful not to let it all slam. Take your cover off and then you're gonna see all the electronics in here go even a little bit further and this will come out. Be gentle with this. And then there's this little space in here. I don't know why from the factory they don't do this because they make better things than just put something like this in there. Put that in there. What this is gonna do is even if you're in a dry environment, any moisture that's trapped in here once you seal it is gonna get absorbed by that. Any moisture that by chance gets in here by something that doesn't seal perfectly or your seal degrades over time, that is also going to absorb that. Now, of course, it's eventually going to saturate and not absorb anymore, but you can go through and do this, and if you do it every couple years, it'll be good for you. Before we do anything else, use your knife or whatever and clean up the old sealant that's on there. Okay, got that all cleaned up. Start doing my sealing. I'm going to put some on my packet just to put it in there and have it hold it in place so it's not making a, any noise. When you're at this point trying to get the pins through, don't try to slam it back in, but work on it. Getting the pins to line up, they will eventually line up. You know, some of them aren't perfect. Go. Make sure that's all the way down where it needs to be. So on the plastic piece, if there's any big chunks on there, you wanna get that off too. What I'm gonna do is put the bead across this whole piece right here. Something to keep it kinda of level, I'm gonna put the bead around all that. The only thing I wanna be careful it doesn't drip onto is obviously your screen and uh, your buttons. I suppose you could just stick this back in so you don't have to worry about that. but you do need to worry about it getting on your button still. Before it starts to dry, should have said this earlier, make sure that's clean. You're not gonna get a chance to clean the inside again in case you put any 
fingerprints and stuff on it. Same goes for your LCD screen, but mine is clean. Make sure your little buttons line up to their little perspective holes. You don't want to break those. Just squeeze it together. Then if you want to double up on it, you can put more around before you put this on. Just keep in mind, if you ever do need to open this again, the more you put on, the harder it's going to be. But personally, I'm going to put it on around it as well. All right, reassembled, ready to go back on your machine. Keep in mind that if your moisture got in there because you have a crack out here, this isn't going to fix it for you because you're just going to get moisture through that crack continuously. Scuffs are okay. I got all kinds of scuffs on mine.